Welcome back, kids. Have you heard the story of Moses and the Red Sea? Ooh, I, I know that story. Oh, hey, Bobino. You do? Yeah, I remember some parts of the story. Okay, well, tell us what you remember. Well, Jimothy, I remember that the people of God were very afraid. And why was that? Because thousands of their enemies were chasing after them with more than sticks and stones. Sticks and stones will break my bones. I get it. That's enough to be scared, but they wanted to do more than just hurt them. That's right. And they couldn't go any further at one point. Why was that? Because they met with the sea. The Red Sea. Why were they afraid? The enemy was approaching. Yes, and? There was lots of them, and they had no way to protect themselves. Go on, and? And the water was deep. And? They had no boats or rafts to get the across the sea. Would you be afraid? Well, duh. Sure. But should they have been afraid? Uh, I'm not following you. Good response. The people of God were afraid too, and they were complaining to Moses, like it was all his fault. He was just the leader, right? The one to follow was God. And they were very nervous right about now. They heard the horses and cling clanging of soldiers' swords and shields. I would have been so scared. So what happened? Do you remember the story? God got involved. He always does, doesn't he? I know. We can count on that. So what happened? I guess you want me to answer this one, huh? I guess so. Well, Moses gave the command, and Aaron lifted up the rod that God gave them. And God brought a great wind, the part of the Red Sea, like an open book. Then what? They crossed the sea. And? They got to the other side. And? They were safe. Then what? And they were safe. Is that the end of the story? Well, you tell me. No, it's not. God brought them to the other side, but the danger was still behind them. Oh, yeah. The soldiers were still coming, and the water was still parted. Then what happened? Well, then God brought the water down on the enemy. And what does this teach you? To trust God and to not be afraid. That's right. No matter what trouble you are in, God will help you. I must tell you, I would have been very scared about going through the Red Sea. I'm sure they were, too, but God protected them. I thought I would have been so scared when the sol soldiers coming after us. Only natural. But I would always remember what God did when the water fell on the soldiers. And that's what God wanted his people to do, to remember where they came from and sin no more. Just like us, remember where we came from and sin no more. Good lesson. Thanks, Bobina, for helping with the story and actually being prepared this time. No problem, Jimothy. Anytime. I love Bible stories. Bye, kids. Have a great day.